Welcome to this lesson on partitioning a line segment. Partitioning a line segment means dividing the line segment into parts. The formula is used when we want to find a point on the line segment other than the midpoint. So if we want to find the midpoint, we would use the midpoint formula, of course. But if we want to find another point along a line segment, like a point that's one third the way from A to B, then we would use this formula that you see below. The ratio in which the line segment needs to be divided into will be given as A colon B. So that's where the A's and the B's in the formula come from. All right, so let's go ahead and try an example. So the line segment AB has endpoints A is at negative 5, 3, and B is at negative 1, negative 5. We want to find the point that partitions the line segment in a ratio of 1 to 3. Okay, so here's my ratio A and B. This would be X1 and Y1, and this would be X2 and Y2 in my formula. All right, so I'm just going to substitute those values into my formula. So it starts with B, so 3, and then X1, X sub 1 is negative 5, and then plus A times X sub 2, which is negative 1, all divided by B plus A, so 3 plus 1. And if you want to go ahead and write 4 there, you can. It's up to you. All right, so I'm just going to do one part of the formula at a time because this is going to give me a point, an ordered pair. So this part of the formula is going to give me my x coordinate. All right, so let's simplify this first. So 3 times negative 5, that's negative 15. 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1 over 4. Negative 15 plus negative 1 is negative 16 over 4, which Negative 16 divided by negative 4 gives me negative 4. All right, so that's my x coordinate. All right, so I'm going to erase this because I didn't give myself room to write the y coordinate. And let's do the y coordinate. All right, so b is 3, and y sub 1 is 3. By the way, let's go ahead and write that 4 before we forget. Negative 4 for my x. And then back to the formula. A is 1. And y sub 2 is negative 5. All over, I'm just going to go ahead and write 4. So 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5 over 4. 9 plus negative 5, that's 4, divided by 4, which is 1. So my answer is negative 4, 1. All right, number 2, find the point that partitions the line segment CD in a ratio of 2 to 1. So this is my A and my B. So here, instead of listing out the coordinates, you're given a graph. So we need to write the coordinates for C and for D. So C is at negative 1, negative 3. So that would be x1, y1. You want to make sure to start with C because that's how the line segment is listed. If we went the opposite way from D to C, we would actually get a different answer. So the order does matter. The points do matter. You want to go in the order that it gives you in the problem. All right, and then D is at 4, 4. So that would be X2 and Y2. All right, so let's substitute those values into my formula. I'm going to scroll back up so we can see the formula. So let's see if I can write a little bit smaller on this one. So b is 1, x of 1 is negative 1, plus a is 2, x of 2 is 4, all over b plus a, so 1 plus 2 is 3. All right, so 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. 2 times 4 is 8, over 3. So that gives me... 7 over 3, and if you want to leave it a fraction, that's fine, or you can change it to a decimal, which would be about 2 thirds, or 2.3, 2 and 1 third. All right, let me do a different color here. 
So for my y coordinate, b is 1, y sub 1 is negative 3, a is 2, y sub 2 is 4, all over 3. So that would be negative 3 plus 8 over 3, which would be 5 thirds. Or about, let's see, 1 and 2 thirds, or 1.6 repeating, or you can round it to 1.7, it's up to you. This would also be repeating over here. All right, so let's go ahead and write those together as our final answer. So again, you can leave it as a fraction or a decimal, it's up to you and what your teacher wants. I'm just going to write the fraction form. So 7 thirds and 5 thirds. All right, number three, the line segment JK has endpoints. J is at negative 2, negative 3, and K is at 2, 5. Find the point that is 2 thirds the distance from J to K. Okay, so this one is different because we have a fraction instead of a ratio. Now normally those are interchangeable, but for partitioning a line segment, the ratio is actually not part to whole like a fraction is. The ratio is part to part. So for example, when we were given two to one, that means we want two parts on the left side and one part on the right side of my point that we found. And in the first example, one to three, that means we want one part on the left and three parts on the right. And this is what I mean by left and right. So let's say this is my line segment A and B. All right, so let's say that this is my point that I found for negative four, one. I have one part on the left side of that point and three parts on the right, one to three. So if we have a fraction given to us two thirds, let me draw that out here. So that means there are three pieces. One, two, three, three equal pieces. And if we want the point that's two thirds the distance, so that would be this point, because this is like one third and two thirds, we need to convert that to the parts. So I wanna know how many parts are on the left, two, and then how many parts are on the right of this point, one. So my ratio is actually two to one. That is my A and my B. All right, so let's use that and plug it into our formula, substitute it into our formula. Okay, so scroll back up here. B X sub one plus A X sub two. So. all over b plus a, so three. So that would be negative two plus four over three, which would be two thirds, or 0.6 repeating. All right, and then for my y coordinate, b y sub one plus a y sub two over b plus a, or three, so negative three plus 10 over three, which is seven thirds, or about 2.3 repeating. So my final answer is two thirds and seven thirds. All right, the last example, the line segment PQ has endpoints at negative three, four and seven, eight. Find the point that is one fifth the distance from P to Q. So we need to convert that to our ratio. So think about a line segment again. I need this to have five pieces. So let's just draw them out. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five equal pieces. And I want one fifth of the way. So that would be this first piece. So I need to count how many pieces are on the left, one. And then how many pieces are on the right, which would be four. So my ratio is one to four. Now, another way you can do that, 
when you are converting the fraction to the ratio, the numerator is always going to be your A. So whatever the numerator is, that's your A. And then you can take the denominator minus the numerator to get your B. So that's another way to look at it. I just wanted to show you the visual. So again, one more time. So the numerator is your A, one, one. The denominator minus the numerator is your B. And that would have worked for number three as well. So numerator was my A, denominator minus numerator, three minus two is one, that was my B. Okay, so let's use our formula here. So x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so b x sub 1 plus a x sub 2 over b plus a, so 5. So that would be negative 12 plus 7 over 5, which is negative 5 over 5 or negative 1. And then for my y coordinate, b y sub 1 plus a y sub 2 over 5. So 16 plus 8 over 5. So 24 over 5. And that doesn't reduce, but you can change that to a decimal, which would be 4.8. So my final answer, negative 1, 24 over 5, or 4.8. Alright, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.